Sisters pack a Volusia County courtroom today. They're demanding justice for a dog prosecutors say was killed by its owner in a clear case of animal abuse. News 6 investigator Mike DeForest is live for us in Daytona Beach tonight. Mike, attorneys for the dog's owner want some video thrown out of this case, correct? That's right, Matt. We're talking about the police officer's body worn camera video. It's one of the key pieces of evidence in this animal abuse case. Uh, just before that video was discussed here in court, dog lovers assembled out here to show their support for the deceased puppy named Ponce. Dozens of demonstrators lined the road outside the Daytona Beach courthouse demanding justice for Ponce. Justice for babies and puppies. We got a compl complaint out here reference to a dog. Yeah, my dog bit me and I hit him a couple times. And Prosecutors say Travis Archer beat the Labrador Retriever to death. This police body camera video shows what a Ponce Inlet police officer found in Archer's backyard. Seriously? He bit me. Okay, that dog looks like it's on his deathbed. He's not on his deathbed. Turn around. Turn around, put your hands on your back. Spectators packed the courtroom for this pretrial hearing, some disappointed that Archer himself was not here today. Archer's attorney is trying to get this body camera video thrown out, claiming the police officer illegally entered the property. It was clear he was telling you he, you were not to come in without a warrant, right? At a certain point, yes. But Officer Brandon Bynes says he heard yelping noises as he approached Archer's home. Prosecutors argue the officer had a legal obligation to act. I needed to check the well-being of that dog. As prosecutors played the video in court, several spectators became visibly upset. A few began crying. Now, at the end of today's hearing, the judge acknowledged that Archer did not give police consent to enter his home and they did not have a warrant. What the judge is considering now is whether there was enough of an emergency, enough of a belief with that police officer that if he were to get into that house, he might be able to save an injured dog. If the judge finds that was the case, perhaps this video will be allowed at Archer's trial. She's expected to make that ruling within the next 10 days. Reporting live in Daytona Beach, Mike DeForest, News 6.